What's going on everybody? We have a huge game against Pittsburgh coming up, our regular season finale. But first, I wanna show you guys the practice highlights. I was working on the run game and Don Chaney Jr. had a really good week of practice. Very excited about that. But first hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, it helps out a ton. And you see Don Chaney Jr. right here. And this is that run play. If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know I like that buck sweep play. Particularly going to the left, you see it here. And Don's able to really get to the outside. We get the blocker set up. Nice celebration, good to see. And again, just working on some counter plays here. But he just had a really good practice. And I'm leaning towards starting him in the regular season finale. He's actually leading the country as the best returner in the country, be that All-American, returned two kicks for touchdowns, limited work, started earlier this year. So this isn't his first start of the season if he makes it. So I'm not worried about if he can handle the pressure. And you guys know we have to beat Pittsburgh, hashtag pound pit for what happened in 2017, and we will get to that. But just showing you guys a little bit more plays, this is a, a twin tight end look going with that stretch play after showing you some counters and again this is a wheel play that I'm really liking quite a bit and you see what happens here it really frees up the running back when I'm able to scramble I'm gonna make sure I throw accurate passes and you see Chaney making some good catches here so that's a good sign get downfield Nice touchdown right there. So just a strong week of practice for Don Chaney Jr. We'll see what happens in the game. Here's our latest with recruiting. We've got three more commits. The big one is Trevor Davis. I've been very excited about him all the way throughout the recruiting process after we discovered he was an, a true hidden gem. Listed as a quarterback, he's actually an athlete, but I think he could play safety if we want him. But we'll just see big time prospect that we're very excited to get out of Florence, Alabama. Our coaches went over there and saw him earlier this year, and we get a commitment from Nick Hefner. Number 10, running back in the country, happy about that. And then Alfred Brock, again, another solid offensive line. So we've got 10 commits. I feel good about our class. And this is just a little bit more of the, the details here. So our class moves up to 13th nationally. Only the 10 commits, we've got a chance to really improve that. I think we'll have a top 10 class. Just looking at, again at some of the ACC schools, Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina is ahead of us. Here we go, guys. Hashtag pound pit. We've got to get this win. Not only for the 2020 season, keep the undefeated season alive. Yes, I've been playing on Heisman all year long after that first game. Keeping this thing going. It's not been easy, I'm not going to lie. There's been some grind out games in there. But we're really hitting our stride late in the season. And I hope that continues with this game here. And I feel like it's so important. I feel a lot of pressure. And Pittsburgh actually, okay, I don't know how this happened, but Pittsburgh's defense is rated a 95, which is ridiculous. I think they're like a 91 overall, and we're like 80, 88, I think. But anyways, we're the favorites. We're third in the country, chasing the ACC title. Okay. Okay, I don't want to get too, too worried about that, but, man, we cannot be dropping passes. I know it was, t I know it was a tight throw in there, but D. Wiggins can handle it. He's a big guy. And just real quick, you got to check out InsideTheU.com. I'll have an article on D. Wiggins this week that I think you guys will enjoy about the offseason. So check that out. And I went ahead and started Don Chaney Jr. Again, not his first start of the year, but the freshman had a really good performance in practice this week. He's been picking it up in games. I want to see what he can do. And you're already starting to see a little bit. One thing I like about him is he's got a little bit more size than Cameron Harris. And it's nothing against Cameron. He's definitely picked it up. But we are getting in some really important games here. And I want to make sure we have all the right guys out there. Nice catch, Peyton. 
Again, I like to go with that halfback dive up the middle, but I got to mix in the pass with that formation to keep him honest. So that's important. And really good catch by Peyton. Sometimes, I mean, he's made a lot of catches. Sometimes he gets the drops a little bit, so that's good to see him catch that one here. This is a great drive. Okay, we've got to keep pushing forward, though. I'm going to get this first down. There we go. Uh, I don't like taking hits, but that's okay. Want to get a guy in motion. Want to see. Kind of basically just seeing if they're sitting in man or zone. Essentially, if they follow the receiver, you're thinking man. If they kind of just stay put, it's zone. And obviously, there's different variations where they could disguise it a little bit. But just at least it gives an indication. I'm switching Jordan. I want that flat. I want that out. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I, I like to switch that up because I want it to be a definite route there. Right here down at the 8. This is definitely an important game. So we already clinched a spot in the ACC championship game next week. You guys got to tune in for that. I want to hit Jordan here. I, I want to make sure I get the right route. Hopefully. Okay. I'm forcing it, but I thought he had the opening off the line. Based on how they set up, I thought I was going to be able to throw it real quick, but they obviously were ready for it. Not really a threat to intercept it, but certainly bat it down. If I can get Harris. Man, okay. This is disappointing. I want to. I always want to get touchdowns on the first drive and set the tone. And Donaldson there, 55. He played out his senior season for us. He already made that announcement that he's not going to play in 2020. He's going to take that red shirt. I guess technically he could. There we go. Nice, Brevin. One-handed catch. Did you guys see that? They got to show replay of that. I'm pretty sure he caught that one-handed. He was really wide open. That linebacker just stood there. Yeah, one-handed catch. Looking flashy. That's great for Brevin. I want to talk about the awards, guys. The finalists came out, which is top 10 at a bunch of all the awards across the country nationally. Your Canes are in a number of a number of them are finalists. It got us a big boost in recruiting points. And I didn't want to go through all of the finalist lists because I mean it's good that but it's top 10. And frankly, unless something crazy happens, we're not going to win all of them. But I will say the guys that are leading. Don Cheney Jr. is leading for best returner in the country. Great for a freshman. That's really important, especially because we had him on a little of a reserve roll there. Okay, big thing with – I want to get to the awards, but big thing with Pittsburgh is we've got to shut down this running game. A.J. Davis is really good, number 21 here. Of course – I'm, I hope that's not going to be an issue, but we've got to shut down 21. I'm not expecting the quarterback to be able to get runs like that all game long. I want to stack eight in the box. That's why I'm bringing Bolden down. Okay, there we go. But the other awards, Brevin Jordan's lead in the Mackey Award, which is great. And the big thing I noticed with the number two guy, so Brevin's doing really good, over 60 catches on the year, getting close to it school record for receptions in a season I think 72 is the mark Hankerson had that I think Brevin's at like 61 okay that's a great play by our defense there we go Sam Brooks okay we need to shut these guys down here hashtag pound pit we've got to get this win I want to get into that 17 game but the big thing with Brevin, if he's going to win the award, he's got to get some touchdowns, and that was a great start. That was my whole point. That's what I wanted to get to. There we go, Bubba Bolden. And Brooks again. Oh, that wasn't Bubba. That was, that was Cameron Williams, 24. I don't know. The whole squad's flying around. Yeah, six is Brooks, and Williams is 24. Okay, third and 18. I need a lock in here. I want to rush the court. I want to force something with Rousseau here. Oh, what are we? Okay. Okay. Not our first down. We'll, we'll, we're okay. <laughs> but, man, come on, guys. Can't be. Okay. Giving up 17 yard passes. That's all right. They knew where the sticks were. 
like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Okay, no chance here. Okay, let's talk about 2017. I know you guys hate that game. Okay, so if you're if you if you're not a Miami fan, you just love college football. If you're a Pittsburgh fan, maybe you're here and you want to hear me re relive this miserable moment in Miami program history. There we go. Yeah, I like Cheney on these moves. He's doing well. And we'll just see how he goes. I'm I'm okay if I, I'll switch it back if I have to, but. For now, we're going to keep Cheney in there. There we go. Miami was going to go 10 and 0 out of, out of the gate in 17, number two in the country. They go to Pittsburgh in November. It was unexpected. In the last regular season game, kind of like us here, we're ranked third. So many similarities. Okay, hit that! Hit that! Yes, Mark Pope, are you kidding me? This dude is coming alive. Man, he's been huge. I love that. And De'Aaron King can throw it on the run, but I always have to make sure I slow down before I just chuck it deep like that, but that's great. Okay, we are back in business. Got to get a touchdown here. I can't let these guys off the hook. So they're in man here. It looks like. Let's see if I can get some stuff going here. Get in there, Wiggins. Nice touchdown. Okay, we are, yes, it's official. Hashtag pound pit. We've got to keep this thing going. Miami lost that game to Pittsburgh, who was unranked. Not only did it crush them for that season, they go on to lose the ACC championship game. They go on to lose the bowl game, so they finish 10-3. and three. But since that game, since that loss, Miami has a 13-15 and 15 record. In the last 28 games they've played since that game. Now Miami's beat Pittsburgh both times since. However, stakes not nearly as high, and nothing's really going to replace that that game. And and I know things didn't go well in the ACC title game and the bowl game, but you have to think that loss was just really crushing on the squad. And that's why I've got to make sure I locked in. I took in. I put in the extra reps of practice. Been scouting these guys, paying attention. I want to make sure we're locked in and we do not take a loss here. Here at Heinz Field. I've been up there to cover a game at Pittsburgh. I didn't go to the 17 game, but I went before that. Had a great time. So it's always cool to see the, the stadiums, the, the other schools, but man. Okay, what are we doing, Bubba? We cannot, okay, we cannot have that happen. Defense, let's go. Coming into this game, and I don't want to jinx it. I'm, I, I don't, don't want to get into jinxes and stuff, but when we played that Florida State game, we gave up a bunch of points. And it had been kind of a trend with our defense, giving up a lot of points. I forgot what that score. I know they scored in the 40s. Okay, what do we do? Okay. They scored in the 40s, but ever since then, the next three games, we've not allowed a team to score more than 21. And if we can keep that going in this game, we're already at 14. I feel like if we can hold them under 21, we'll be fine and get this win. Get out of here. There we go. Jordan Miller, 91. That's a nice play. I was switching to man right before, and I think it worked out. Big thing I got to watch with Pittsburgh, other than Davis, is their tight end number seven, former Gator. Look who's cruel right there, number seven. You see him? Oh, I just missed it. Okay, four step pass, though. But I have to pay attention, make sure I know where he is. He's got a pretty good rating. Force a third down, or force a punt. There we go. Let's keep this thing rolling. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the I'm kick. always doing pump block, but never never even coming close. Booming kick. And I don't even get a return. Okay, well, that's okay. So typically when this happens, and it's happened in other games where I get this early lead, and both on touchdown passes, but I don't want to 
somebody to try to lift up their spirits. I don't want to get ahead of myself and just start keep chucking the ball around too much. We got to make a pass here though. Let's see if we can hit Jordan. There we go. I wasn't going to pass it but the audible. I had to audible out. But what I was saying was I want to grind out this drive kind of more of a conservative approach. I feel like their defense is going to tighten up. Try to reverse the game in their favor. Don't want any cheese plays or anything like that. So that we got to stay just solid. First down, ten yards to go. Ball I'm gonna go short two. side run here with the stretch. I usually don't do this. Got a few yards. I usually don't do this, but when I did that buck sweep the other game, when I went short side and it opened up and had a big run. And just kind of like opened my mind up a little bit. Like don't shut that down. Because there are holes even if you go short side. Of the field. Yeah, but I got numbers here. I'll keep it. Nice. So Cheney's got a little bit more speed. I think he's a 91 and, and Harris was like an 89. And I feel like up the middle I notice it quite a bit. Not only is he a little bit bigger and can kind of take a little bit bigger of a hit. But instead of getting like... It feels like, yeah, and I fall forward, like got seven there, like eight, nine. It's kind of like he gets like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it feels like Cam might get like five or six. You know, like it feels like his burst up the middle is a little quicker. Now he's scrambling. Tries to get around the there we go. I'll take that run. I know I saw him too. I just wasn't thinking of going that way. I want to see if something. But I saw I saw um I saw Cheney off to the left. But I kind of already made my mind up to run right, and I don't want to chance it, so I'm just gonna run right out of bounds. Racking up yards here. I want this buck sweep. Here we go. Hit the hit it. Oh my goodness. He's tackled around the 32 yard. That play is so frustrating because it really does break open for you if you hit your blocks, but sometimes it doesn't here. Okay, that was a great first quarter. Shout out to all you guys for showing your support. Evan Jordan with that one-handed catch, trying to get that Mackey Award. Great catch by Mark Pope. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed this season. I cannot believe we're almost done with this season, but... You guys know this series is a dynasty, and we're going to keep it going. I haven't been putting all this time into recruiting, into practicing, into developing young players just to end it after one year. You know what? I, I feel like I'm getting greedy on my runs. I definitely could have thrown that, but he's got so much speed. I, lo I love it. So get those yards. One thing is, he's still leading the Heisman race. Four running backs behind him. Oh, man. Man. Really want that play to work out. But the running backs behind me in the Heisman race, they've got, you know, over 1,000 yards, but only like 10 to 12 touchdowns. Nothing crazy. So I feel like I can win this Heisman. I want to hit these passes. Yes, touchdown pass. Oh my goodness, what a start for De'Ara King. He was not here in 2017, but he knows how important it is for this squad to knock out these guys. Oh my goodness. I, I want to take a win. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm going to take a win and move on. That's how I've done it all season. Whatever, whatever, however many points it is, but man, I really want to pound these guys. Virginia Tech, both those teams, we kind of just played them. Yeah, that tough game against Virginia Tech in the snow. Yeah, that good game against Virginia last week. Let's look at 81, getting some face time. Aiden Heimingham, Deerfield Beach, freshman. Okay, we got to stay locked in, though. I want to make sure we finish this half. On a positive. I say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Hey, 
There we go. That's how we finish it. So the other awards that were kind of, that I think were lead, other than the quarterback stuff with Dierick, with Heisen, Maxwell Award, those kind of things. You know, Rousseau is kind of in the mix for some awards, but I don't think, I think he'll fall short. It's kind of towards the bottom. But another one that's interesting to me is for the Thorpe. I got Gervin Hall leading the Thorpe. And Derek Stingley Jr. from LSU is having a great season. Phenomenal player. I think he's like a 98 or something young player. You know, still, he's going to get better, which is crazy. Oh, my goodness. I was hoping that was a fumble. But the reason, you know, and Stingley, I think he has six interceptions. Gervin just has that one. And I know you guys remember. If you guys follow the season, maybe you don't remember every play, but I know you remember that Gervin Hall interception against Clemson diving in the end zone. That's his only pick of the year. But the reason why he's up there is he's got like 60 tackles, like 10 tackles for loss. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, hey, Ed, I was getting excited. There's like, oh, man, punt returns are so hard, but I was trying to I was trying to tap that acceleration, give him a little wiggle. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way. All right, here we go. Okay, they're in man. He's on the run. He's gonna air it long. Oh man, Wiggins, I thought he. That's okay. Maybe a little risky, but I thought I, I thought he had the little separation. You know, I can get yards running the ball, but man, when I start scrambling, it's tough to reverse course and just decide to throw it in the middle of the field to someone else. Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh man, I wanted that spin. There we go, Cheney. That's a good catch, though. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice That's what game. we were working on in practice. That's that play I like. And it's starting to develop as the season has gone on, finding that play and finding how it works with the squad. Let's see if we can get outside. Hit the blocks. Go, 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 go. There we go. Nice. Nice run. I was hoping to get a little bit more speed. Man, what a great start. Nine carries, 76 yards. That's that play I'm talking about. You hit those blocks, it all sets up for a big run. Potential. Down to the eight here. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. I don't want to get greedy. Okay, Derek's got three touchdowns already, but I don't want to get greedy. All right, Cam. I, I like that. Whenever your number's called, just be ready. Look at the squad. Hashtag pound pit. We're doing this. I'm excited about this. Man. I enjoy all these games. Miami with a commanding lead. Even these ones where we've had to grind out in the super stressful ones at the at the end of games. The ones that made me question why am I even doing this? But I've enjoyed it all. I've enjoyed it all. But no no doubt I'm enjoying pounding these guys, getting this blowout. I don't want them to score any points. We do not want to let up in this one. See if we can keep this thing going. But so Dierick has 41 total touchdowns coming into the game. That's significant, not just because I'm in that Heisman race. Oh my goodness. But he had that 50 touchdown season at Houston, 2018. And I'm just chasing that 50. Like I want 50 touchdown season for him. Okay, get what do we do? I hate when that okay, let's go, let's go. Get in there. Nice or so. You guys got that close up look. Switching the camera angle for you guys. Got that sack. I like it. There we go. That's a nice tackle. Roche in on it too. The whole squad forwards right there. No letting up here. But I want to get up. I, I'm, I know it's getting greedy, but I want to score more than 50 touchdowns. I want him to do more at Miami than he did at Houston. There we go. Sam Brooks. 
Man, Rousseau's there. Got Man, look at the squad. No letting up. Let's go get an... Oh my... I cannot believe the score. I cannot believe this. I told you we came in motivated. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Gave a good pregame speech to the squad and they were loving it. It worked out. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get... I don't know. Early in the year, I was feeling confident I could break one with Cheney and I got a couple. On kick return, but Pope, like, I don't have any, many games left, but maybe I can get a punt return. Maybe I get one when we play like a an FCS team here. I hit the wrong hole there. Ten carries, 80 yards, man. Having a really good performance. Miami with a big advantage. There we go. At the 27. And the run is good for big yardage. Good gain, and I think that's the exact same play they just ran. We're doing okay. Yeah, we'll keep running this. If they're gonna if they're not gonna adjust, then we'll do it. And what's great is that we can pass out of that formation as well. But just mixing this up here. From the 27 yard line. First down. Hit that counter. Let's go. Solid run. Solid run. Yeah. You definitely taking advantage of his start. I want to make sure I'm locked in here. I want to get another score. We got too many guys in the box. I want to switch that. There we go. There we go. There we go. I know a lot of work for three for three yard gain, but trying to get that first down. I want to. I was trying to get him some space, and I didn't. Want, I want him to go to the sideline. Original route had him going in. So I was just trying to switch out. We can get this first down. I know they got... They had a lot of guys on the box. And this is something I'm doing more as the season's gone on. Just just trying to pay attention. Call those timeouts in the first half. Don't, don't go into the break without them. Just giving the squad a, a little bit of a break. There we go. We only needed one yard, and they, even though they had guys in the box and good numbers on their side, I figured I could get at least one yard, and it worked out there. Where are we at here? Okay, right at the 10. Okay. There we go. Okay. And I'm always paying attention to that left guard and when that center, who they're going to block. Oh my goodness. Just trying to see if we get some openings here. Yeah, we got this. We got this. There we go, Don Chaney Jr. Man, he's having a great game. Our whole squad is playing well. Shout out to the offensive line. Everybody's doing really well there. I've shuffled them around and they've responded pretty well all season long for the most part. I mean, really, I can't complain. There's some plays here or there, but sometimes I just got to get rid of the ball. I've been pretty happy with them, but again, we got. We're going to be saying bye to some of these guys, man. Jared Williams at left tackle. This one's going to be down in the and then we got Navon Donaldson, who's a senior. Like I said, he played out his senior year for us. So that left side of the offensive line, we're going to need to replace it. We've got Isaiah Walker for next year. Zion Nelson, another year older. 
DJ Scaife will be a senior. Corey Gaynor. So we got guys coming back. We'll be okay. Okay. Nice run there. Davis picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball on the draw play. And really, we don't have a lot of seniors to replace. But our juniors, some of our juniors are playing really well, and I'm a little concerned that they're going to leave for the draft. Seeing their names float up on that on the finalist award list. Gervin Hall would be a big one. Again, he's only like an 80, a 79 or 80 overall as a junior, but he might win the Thorpe. Maybe he's going to bolt. That'd be disappointing for sure. I say that because we start four juniors in the secondary. I'd love for all four to come back, and I think we'd really have a good year. We didn't. Have, we have not had very many interceptions this year. So I think if we come back, we can really get some guys. Really be good there. We do give up a little bit too many passing yards. But all in all, I cannot complain. The squad's playing well. I think we're going to play Louisville in the ACC title game. I've not checked lately. Maybe it's already clinched. But you guys know about Louisville. You know they'll have a strong squad. And what we're chasing at the top, I have not talked much about it. With Ohio State and LSU ahead of us in the polls. They've got some tough games coming up. But it's really out of our control. Oh, man. Oh, we got this. See, that's what I'm talking about. Those got to be interceptions. That's what we're going to work on all offseason. We're going to hit those jugs machines. Guys are going to be catching passes. We're going to make our DBs work like receivers. Shut that down. Doing much better shutting down that screen game. This is great. Man, our defense is playing much better. This is so important at this time of year. We're trying to win it. We'll see what happens if we can win the ACC. That'd be our first title. Miami's never won an ACC title. I'd love to deliver that for you guys. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. The hurricanes are just cruising. Look at that. I like that balance. I've been trying to achieve balance all season long. It's great to see. Okay, we got 28 seconds here. Two timeouts at the 20. Part of me wants to just air this out. Okay, there we go. We got him. What in the heck? That's disappointing because we had him but just overthrew it. I thought my feet were set. I don't know what happened there, but I don't want to... I don't want to be too risky. Yeah, we're just going to go into half. I'm not going to worry about it. We've had an unbelievable half. It's our Honestly, it feels like our best first half of the season. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to run it. I'm going to wind down the clock. I'm going to get one more run in here. Get these stats up here. Yeah, add those four yards to <laughs> huge game. Dang, 18 for 118. That's like a full game's worth. Don Chaney Jr. Maybe I should rest him a little bit for the second half. We'll see. Although at 118, I'd love to be able to get like 175 or something crazy like that. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least. So there's some swim. definite things that we're still going to be working on as we get ready for this next game because I feel like we'll be fine here. Obviously, man, it'd be a it'd be a disaster if we start getting give up some scores here. But Louisville will definitely be tough. We want to get that ACC title game, and then we'll just wait and see. If we can get into that national title picture, if not, it looks like we'll go to the Orange Bowl, and that would be a great accomplishment. And it just motivates us even more 
for next year. I just want to keep these wins going. I don't care who we play. Because we're playing much better. Let's go. Let's see if I can get another good punt return for Pope here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get that. Get that sideline. Oh, I, I thought if I could get the sideline, then I could maybe get a big game. But yeah, I talked about Brevin has a chance at the school record for C for most receptions in a year. I was looking at the receivers. It is crazy. All four of my guys here are within two catches of each other on the year. It's like 40, 40, 39, 38. It's crazy how balanced it is. I love it. And it makes sense because if you think about some of the games these guys have had, everybody's had big games. Scoring touchdowns and everything, so it's good. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's get this run. Let's get this run. Let's get the, hit the blocks. Man, they are just tracking me down from behind here. I'm thinking about Cheney's carries. He's already at 20. We've got a huge lead here. Get there. Strike to his receiver. No good. Man, dropping passes. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Fourth and four. I'm not going to punt this. And I'm not going to kick a field goal, so let's just see if we can get something going. But yeah, I don't want to overwork Cheney here. We've got a blowout. The way it looks, I'll go ahead and start him next week too, unless... Unless something happens. But I like how he responded. I do not like this formation. He scrambled. Go, go, go. The ball pops free. The offense scoops oh my goodness. I don't know what happened. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't get it. It said three yard. Yeah, we got to play defense. I did not like that formation. Probably should just call timeout because we're not going to need him at the end. Not a perfect game offensively, but that's okay. Always stuff to work on. He goes out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. Second and eight. Ball on the 43. Nice. Boy, was he Roche, number two, in, uh, in on it. Third and eight. Defense still playing strong. I like it. Sometimes teams start getting it together with the score out of hand, but we need to stay locked in here. Okay. Get out the. Oh, Brooks. Oh, nice. Nice game, that was a huge tackle. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They I definitely thought they were right going to get third down. Okay, they're not going to go for it. We'll down. take it. We'll take the ball back. Let's keep this thing going. The way I'm thinking about it, too, is upcoming, and they're gonna come after this, this big one. lead. Not just with Cheney, but I need to start thinking about De'Ara King a little bit. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone. I cannot afford him to get hurt. However, you guys know I'm trying to get him that Heisman. I want to make a change at running back. I'm going to do this one for you guys. I want to see what Jalen Knighton has here. Again, nothing against Cam. It's just an opportunity to get another freshman involved who are with the big lead. Pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And with Jalen, he's the lightest of the th of the running backs. 
So I need to, okay, there we go. Nice, I like that agility. That's great to see. So when I run him up the middle, I just need to be careful about taking big hits. That's why I'm trying to do spin moves. I'm going to try to do jukes if I can. Got to keep these guys off of them and not allow them to lay out a big hit. Oh, I wanted that. Hit the block. Hit that. And hopefully, you know, if you guys have been watching 64 is out there quite a bit based on that pull, right guard Jalen Rivers on that design play, he pulls out to the to the left and becomes a lead blocker. And just a freshman, awareness isn't that great. But I'm hoping by starting him this year. Yeah, we gotta slide Jordan over. I like this play, but there we go. Get outside. There we go. Jalen was already tired and needed a break, but. I'm hoping next year Jalen's going to gain even more attribute. Yeah, I got to slide Jordan over because they got the guys waiting on me. I don't know if my guys will block, get over there fast enough. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have even tried it. And that's where Jordan's supposed to go. That's where the design blocking is. But I'm just setting them up over there quicker because they're lined up waiting for me. So I'm going to go with this pass play in the same formation. Oh, I got to throw that. Yeah. And he throws it away. Great shot by the defense. Nothing there. I hate rolling out to my left. With the right handed quarterback, but. That's okay. All right, third and ten. See if I can hit Brevin over the middle. Covered. Now he tries to buy some time. Oh. Okay. All right, John Campbell. I should get John Campbell on that thumbnail. <laughs> Carrying the ball. People are like, what? That can't be good. Speaking of can't be good, I cannot be getting hit like that. It's fourth and five. I'm calling time out here because I'm hoping De'Aaron gets a little more, more rest. There we go. Got an orange star now. Now yellow. There we go. It was red. That's what happens when you run them. Oh, their crowd's getting lit right now. Okay. Nice, Jalen. Nice. I know we got a big lead. I know it's not going to be a huge run in the grand scheme of things. But, man, fourth and five, and he comes up with a 12-yard run. That's clutch. That's what you want to see for your freshman. Guys getting opportunities here. He's scrambling. Man. Just didn't see anything there. The receiver could have held the block, but then again, I was running all over the place. Probably expects, expecting too much out of that. Probably just need to get out of bounds. He's gonna try and scramble. There we go. Nice. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. 51 yards on the ground. That's great. He's rushed for over 400 this season. A lot of that's come definitely in the second half. I wasn't scrambling like I, like I am now earlier in the year. Okay, here we go. Hold on to the ball. So that's a good sign. All right, Jalen. Jalen's playing really well. Don Chaney Jr. had a good game. This is great to see by the young guys. Man, only 169 on passing. If I got those touchdowns, maybe I can get one more touchdown. I want Brevin here. He's on the run. There we oh go. Oh. I know it was risky, but I saw him. Oh, school record passing yards in a season. Jerry King did it. Man, that's exciting. That's crazy. Really happy about that, man. Getting school records is a big deal at a university like Miami. So it's great to see. 
First and goal from the three. They're not Man, look at those total yards. This is great. Hashtag pound pit. Let's go. Okay, I wanna I wanna see if I can get a touchdown with Derek. Nope. He just broke through the line. I thought it was going to open up, but man, couldn't hold the blocks. Let's see if we can get another touchdown here. Going slants. Wait, what is going on? Why is Nikosi in? Oh my. Oh, they said injury? Oh my. I oh my this is I'm not even gonna celebrate this touchdown I just it's good but I did not realize Dier got hurt on that play I held the ball on the read option oh my goodness guys can you oh I, I'm gonna freak out here we cannot have him get hurt this point in the season I'm trying to run out of bounds. It's hard to avoid hits. He's not a big guy. I'm trying to scramble. I'm trying to make it all happen. Trying to get that Heisman Award. We need to get a report. We need a we need a we need a sideline report. Who's on the field for inside the U? We got to get a report on Derek King. Is he under the tent? Did he go to the locker room? We've got to find out what is going on here. I need to hit pause and check Twitter. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe. Okay. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And see what the report is. We've got huge games coming up. We're trying to win an ACC title. We have a shot of getting into that national championship game. Derek has been the best player in college football this year. I promise you that. We're trying to get 50 touchdowns. Oh, my. Come on, Gervin. Got to get that interception. Okay, concussion out for game. Derek King suffered a concussion. He's out for the game. Hopefully it's just one game. He's going to have to go into that concussion protocol. I do not know if he's going to be ready for the ACC championship game. Hopefully he's okay. Need to apologize to all the fans of Derek King out there. Not trying to get your boy hurt. But the thing is, whatever that's the thing about football. It really is next man up. And I hate to say it because he's been incredible for us. But we've we need to use this quarter. We've got six minutes here. Okay, we gotta get a stop. We need to get a stop and get our offense on the field, and we've gotta go to work with our QBs here. If we're gonna have to go with other quarterbacks down the stretch then we need to first off we need to know who we're going to go with drop in the comments if if we have to go to another quarterback who which one do we go with we also got to think about 2021 as well both of them are interesting oh man can we get an interception okay i'm starting to get stressed out now our defense is playing lights out we don't have any turnovers. Can't get an interception. Starting quarterback got hurt. Don't know what's going to happen. Okay, can we intercept? Okay, he threw it too high. Okay. I know. I need to relax. I need to relax. I need to relax. I need to relax. Is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time he should just throw it away. But I definitely want to get as many snaps as possible for the offense. Uh, this is not good. Okay, there we go. DJ Ivy has been very physical. Making a lot of good hits. He lit up Don Chaney Jr. in practice this week. You guys saw that. 
Fourth down. Speaking and of DJ Ivy, check out InsideTheU.com. We're gonna have an article on him about his offseason as well. You gotta check that out. Okay. Fakes to the back. Man. That was fourth and one. We would have got the ball back. This is still an incredible game by the defense. Okay, we got to get out outside. We got it. Okay, they're staying. Let's. Okay, broke some tackles. He's a good running back. Would have liked to have made some tackles, but that's all right. So we get the offense back. I'm gonna. We got Nikosi Perry last week. I went with Tate Martell. Nikosi really struggled the game before. Both these guys have been getting in a little bit lately. But I want to go with Nikosi. He threw that touchdown right there on that slant pass on our last drive, and that was great. And he's got a little bit of mobility. He doesn't run as well as Derek, but he's got a little bit of mobility. Pretty good arm. So if I go with him, I'm going to do this this halfback wheel here. So I'm going to roll out to the right. I'm going to look for Jalen. Yeah, this is going to work. Oh, wide open. Let's go, Jalen. Go. Oh, my goodness. I love that play. Maybe I need to put, J I think I need to put Jalen. I need to do a, on that formation. Maybe I'll just go with Jalen on that formation because he's a, he, he just has, he's got that speed and, and you saw it right there, that burst. I think he'd be the best at catching that pass. Chaney's okay at it. He's actually dropped some this year. It can solid. It just looked like Jalen's got that little bit of a burst. I'm going to make this change now. It's just to give Tate a little bit of a look, too. Nikosi threw these two touchdown passes. I want to see a little bit about Tate. So Tate is interesting because he's a little bit more in the mold of Derek, although not as big of an arm. And he doesn't have quite the speed, but he's still in that mold. Similar size, height, weight, similar attributes. So I feel like if I went with Tate, my playing style would be similar. I could scramble a little bit, throw on the run. You saw that last game against Virginia. Had that nice play on that run to Pope. Like a 40-yard pass on that scramble. Roll out to his right, so that's great to see. And that's what I'm talking about. And also I could do read options if I want to do that. So we'll see here. But man, I really, it's crazy. I feel like I got a lot to work on this game. I want to get the ball back here. I mean, I don't want to give up a touchdown, but it is what it is. And who knows, maybe Derek will be fine for next game. But the reality is it's kind of a wake-up call in that anything can happen at any time and we need to be ready and I've not gotten those guys a lot of work this year and also for 2021 I don't know what we're going to do for next year because both of them will be back as seniors, we'll have Ty Tyler Van Dyke will be coming off a redshirt year. And then we signed five-star quarterback Austin Joseph. Get out there. There we go. So I don't know what we're going to do in 2021. So this, this is an indication. This is another opportunity to get some reps for these guys. And it'll depend on their off-seasons as well. Guys will progress. Skills will improve. 
Oh my goodness, <laughs> this guy's breaking tackles in the fourth quarter. Look at him. Man, they just keep running. Okay. 49-14. I'd like to hang a 50 on these guys, not going to lie. I was even thinking about going for two last time just to make sure I got to 50. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Thinking about what play to call here with Tate. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. I expect them to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. There we go. All right, Jalen. I was thinking about the play call. I want to call that play, but I knew we were on the right hash. Not a lot of opening there. Not a lot of space, but it worked out. Got some yards. 24 yards. There we go. All right, Jalen. There we go, Jalen. Man, he's having a really good game. Four ca 87 yards. I feel like I, I just put him in. He's having a monster game. Okay, Tate. Ball in the 11 here. Let's see if we can get a read option. I usually don't call it this far out. Usually I'm closer to the five, but I want to see if we can run it in. Ooh. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. That play didn't work, but we're going to see if we can third and three. Yeah, we'll see. We'll try this again. Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, fall forward. There we go. 234 rush yards. That's great. That's how, that's what we're, we're, we're not just pounding pit on the scoreboard, but on the ground, they're a running team. And we're taking it right to him. Man, okay. And they got him for a loss. The Stuck with that play a little too long. They're at the five. Second down. Four ninety six, that's great. There we go, Jalen Knighton. Oh my goodness. He's having a really good game. Really productive. I like his burst. I feel like this is the best game I've seen him have this year. Yeah, we've not been able to put him in nearly as much as I wanted to. And it's hard to get him some work, but this has been great. I'm definitely going to consider him on that half, on that formation with that play. With that wheel route that I like running, I think that'd be a good, a good thing. And that's what I started doing with Cheney early on. I was using him in that read option. That pistol formation. Man, AJ Day. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. And they finally make the stop at the 47. Look at these guys just not giving up here. This is the final score I would take. 56-14. Let's get out of here with a huge win. Okay. we got to be careful if they go out wide here. Yep. Okay, we're ready for it. Nobody else was ready. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nobody else was ready. Bubba's got to speak up. I, did you guys see that? Like, I, I was ready for it because I thought they might call this. But I'm out there by myself. That's good defense. I'd like to sneak out an interception here late in this game. At least get one. Okay, get in there. Our pass defense has been really good this game. Wow, that's impressive too. One for nine 
you've got to either get rid of that football. Let's go ahead and stop these guys here. Alright, get in there. I was waiting for it. I've been reading out these screenplays really well. Rousseau just finished it off. Alright, fourth and fifteen. This would be great. Let's so get out of here with this win. Get ready for that ACC title game. Almost. There we go. What in the... How in the world... <laughs> how in the world did that happen? Okay. All right, they're gonna review that. No way that, no way they caught that. What is DJ doing? Get up! This is a big review right here. Was it an incomplete? Looks like he's out. I don't know where he. So after some they counted that. Oh my goodness! How did we let that? I know it's not a huge deal. It's still a blowout. We still pounded this team. It's still a great performance by both sides of the ball, but man, I don't know how we allowed that, especially because I know we we really need an interception. All right, Brevin, get down. The Hurricanes are ranked high nationally in yards per game, and after today, I can see why. Well, there's really nothing you can do to stop. I love that we got over 500 yards. The best part about that is that balance. They can run, and that versatility has allowed them today to have a huge performance. And although Derek didn't pass for a ton of yards, these other guys, Nikosi and Tate, have really racked up the yards, so that's great. And I don't want to give up. I want to score again on these guys. Here we go, Keyshawn. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. Definitely good to see Keyshawn get a catch there. Not a ton of opportunities, but man, he's been big when when I throw him the ball. Tate's really throwing the ball really well here. I'm impressed by that. Let's see if we can find something here. I'm going to look for Brevin right over the middle. Got him. There we go. What in the world? <laughs> Come on, Bishop Gorman. What are you guys doing? I'm blaming Brevin for that one. Tate threw that right on the money, and he was wide open. I'm actually going to try this again, because he was wide open. Nice catch. That was much harder, but we got the, got the reception there. Man, that's disappointing. Okay, I want to send... Send Brevin to the right. He scrambled. There we go. Oh. He got open at the last second. Across the line there. I couldn't get rid of it. Let's see if we can go Brevin over the middle. Nice. Nice, Brevin Jordan. That's the way to make up for that drop. I don't know how that drop happened. Because those other two catches were... Incredible on in traffic. That one was great. Good throw by Tate. Really good performance from him. And we got another touchdown. I got to thank everybody for jumping on that pound pit stuff. You guys are the reason why I was able to pull this out. Not just to win, but to have a big decisive win. This is great momentum going to the ACC title game. We're going to put in that work in practice. And keep it moving. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I cannot believe we only have two games left. Just a reminder, there's no playoff. So their last drive resulted in six points. When this game was created, so they ran the just two games left. Can't thank everybody enough for all their support all season long. It's been a ton of fun. And we need to finish this season off on the right note. Big win today, though. Big win today. 63-21. Derek King with the three touchdowns. That was great. Other quarterbacks. Nikosi really stepped up. Same way with Tate. There's Tate right there. Doing well. D. Wiggins is celebrating. Bubba Bolden. 
Jalen Knight and player of the game. That's incredible. Yeah, he was impressive. Catching the ball, running the ball. Don Chaney Jr. gets that start and delivers. Cameron Harris was good when he had the opportunities. Mark Pope with a touchdown. That's great. He's really picked up his play. Very impressed with that. So that's going to be very helpful for our squad moving forward. Just an incredible game. I couldn't say anything more about everyone. All your support's been incredible. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We're getting close to 10,000. Check out InsideTheU.com. And follow me on Twitter at InsideTheU. Take care.